Hey, it's Grace, and today I don't really have a lot to tell you, but I just thought I would come on here quickly and give you an update on some of my arts and crafts, because I know you care. Um, the pyjama funnel top I was trying to make into a cat bed. Ta-da! It worked. Can I get it all in frame? Yep, it's pretty cute. I like it. Um, well, <sighs> I don't know how to describe this to you. Okay, let's try. So, this is the back of the shirt. That is where the neck hole sort of was. So I cut it um, and lined it up with the shoulders. Like, these are the shoulders. Made it all straight. Um, used the button, like, hole openings like on the bottom and put Velcro in there as a closure and like so you can stuff through those holes Whoop. and the arms are sewed down the like sides of the top like down here like sew the arm down and then that's the bottom hem of the top like, flipped up so that's like the front closure and that's the end of like the sleeve um, I kind of tucked it under or over I can't remember hang on Oh no, back over itself, so it was flat and a little bit of support for that corner. Um, it was inside out when I sewed it. I didn't know which way I wanted these seams because this kind of makes the fluffy stuff go out and I thought the other stuff would make it go in too much. So like, oops, oh, and ow. <laughs> that kind of makes the fluffy bits sit out. Um, this side stuffed more than that side. I'm going to have to fix that. Um... But in general, like, that wasn't too bad. I didn't want to completely pull it apart to use the material. I was like, I know it's already got some structure. I'm sure I can work with what's there. Um, I sewed that little bit down the top of each. Oh, um, to try and give it oh, a bit more shape. Okay, I'm just causing too much damage. I should put this down. But like, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, I would do things slightly differently the next time, but not too much differently. Um, ooh, the shape down here, you can see mostly from the back, is not quite even. I think maybe I would just bring it in that little bit there. But it does flare the front out a little, which I'm not mad about either. So maybe I wouldn't change that. Oh, and ow. So it's kind of a big bed. It's a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, but that's not really much of a problem in my opinion. I don't know how big our future kittens are going to get when they're big cats. So this might last them. They might hate it. <laughs> it's fine. But it's big enough to sprawl out in. And that material, like I hate it, like wearing it. It's too hot. <laughs> but like this seems really nice and cozy. And if the kitten doesn't like it, I can always use it. Bonus. Alrighty. So, um, oh yeah, package from Amazon. My partner knew that I was still waiting for one Starlight, which I'm still waiting on. But in the meantime, the um, Bliss Lights Evolve, which uh, actually, I won't put a picture. I'll show you in a sec. Let me find some scissors. Hmm, nope. Maybe, oh, I have a nail thingy somewhere. Where are you? I'm sure you would be better than scissors. My partner saw that Amazon had this cheap through the actual Bliss Light store. Um, and I've been waiting for it to come down in price. He's like, is this the one? I'm like, oh yes, order it please. Well, I've got, like we've got the account together, but like, I was being lazy. He was already there. So I'm like, no, nah, just do it. Oh, that feels very nice. I did sing. Um, when was that? Thursday or, or Friday? Hmm. How long has it been then? I don't know. Less than a week. Ooh, and it looks like the right thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, eek. Alright. This guy. So exciting. The Bliss Lights Evolve. It has pink, teal, and purple clouds, blue stars. It kind of can move around more, so angled where you want it to be, which would be very, very nice because it's a little annoying. 
and I think this one you can use through the app. Fingers crossed. Yay. Um, I don't know. Should I show you a little bit of this? Maybe I'll take a little bit of footage and put it at the end so you get to see it. But I think I will just do a video. Hmm. Which room in the house am I going to use to film this? Alright. I think the lounge room has like the biggest amount of space on a wall. So you can kind of see what it's like. I think that might be the best option. Um, so, I'll put footage of that in. Sorry, like just talking random thoughts out. I should probably open this while I'm here. It's half the reason we're here, right? I don't have a lot to talk about. Lights, cap it. Ooh, Fox. Uh, I think I told you about Sharpies. Started colouring this in. Still figuring out some colours, but Sharpies blend surprisingly well on canvas. I thought it looked really cool. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but it looks relatively blended, like the bits I wanted to look blended. Let's see how it turns out. It's um, going to take me a long time, but it's kind of fun. Uh, just don't get too close to the Sharpies. Work in a well ventilated area. My advice. Um, I thought I should work from the like inside out on this picture because uh, I don't know if I'm doing the oranges and the reds then I know I'll use like blues and greens and stuff it's darker I just don't want the transfer so make the middle done and then work my way up I think that's the way to go Ooh, oh my gosh you sent me this I really want one of those too I have no use for it but lights and the arc and I still want one of those but like not the starport one. I just want one of the, you know, little goosenecky, I don't know what to call them, um, but you can get a red one. That'll be the only colour light I'm missing and until I want to go ahead and order something super fancy, which will be never. Um, I think I just want, I don't know, they're like $10. A red one, and so I have all the coloured stars. But I really want that arc light. It's going to be old technology by the time... I actually go to buy it. Look, if it ends up being like $30, I'll buy it. Other than that, I should just be calm and wait to buy a DJ light that actually has those that change colour, but that you can change the settings on. You can buy a lot of them and they just pulse through different things, which looks pretty in a club setting, but yeah, I need something I have more control over. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so into lights right now. I don't really mind. We have another plug. I um, am happy about that, honestly. They bring me joy. I'm not spending a lot of money. I know I have quite a few. I'm trying to count now. But like, I don't think I've spent more than $200. And that's okay. I could spend a lot more on a lot worse. Ooh, balls. Nice. And, oh, I missed a layer. Hang on. No? Yes. Ah, oh, of course. There's a wrapper. I was wondering how they were going to make it, like, swivel around. I'm like, oh, that must be annoying to um, sort out. But no. <laughs> this is probably the most reasonable way. So it's got a hole in the back to plug it in. And then this just sits any way you want. I like it. That's a really good time. Um, do I have anything else to tell you? I don't really think so. Same stuff, different day. Still feel like a drain on society. And a bit of a waste of space. I know I'm being harsh on myself, but honestly, my sickness, when it affects other people, to a large extent, makes me feel worse about myself. I'm trying to just accept it, but it's really hard. I just really need a doctor to help me so I can stop annoying people as much. Hopefully. Alright. Cool. Gonna play with lights to make myself feel better. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. It looks a lot bluer on camera. Um, on this side. <laughs> it looks a little bit more teal in person. And there's like a little bit of teal over there, a little bit of purple there, sort of in real life, and then that's pretty pink. 
um, not quite red. All right, that's all I'm gonna show for now. I'm gonna film like a more in-depth thing for another video. So hopefully that'll be out soon. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.